This starts part two of your um, eye lecture, a subconjunctival hemorrhage. Um, generally, a lot of times when people come in with a subconjunctival hemorrhage, um, they come in because everyone has pointed at them all day and said, oh my gosh, have you seen your eye? Um, sometimes it can be from the Valsalva. You'll see this on uh, pregnant women who have just given birth. Um, it can be from anticoagulants, coughing, eye rubbing. Usually there's no reason why they should have it. Um, a lot of times there's no symptoms whatsoever. They're coming in because everyone's been pointing at them. Um, the signs, they're going to have a blood red, well circumcised area. Um, the big thing is to just reassure them and tell them that it will be reabsorbed. And there you go. Corneal abrasion. Um, generally, people will give you a history of having something go in their eyes. Um, again, this can be metal uh, fragments. Um, people who are wearing safety glasses at work. Um, I always describe it as feeling like you have a rock in your eye. Now, when you get a foreign body in your eye, even if you get the foreign body out, the corneal abrasion uh, will cause pain because of the uh, cornea is so sensitive. It's the blink reflex, and it's sending these messages to the brain saying, you know, something's in my eyes. Uh, depending on how, uh, how bad the abrasion is, they can actually get some photosensitivity and sometimes some reaction of the pupil where they get an iritis. Uh, generally, they'll get a watery discharge. Um, when we stain the eyes, uh, they're going to have an epithelial uh, defect. Um, for the treatment, um, we do go ahead and uh, prescribe eye drops to prevent a secondary infection. Uh, topical NSAIDs are fine. Um, however, again, those are fairly expensive. Artificial tears do wonder. I always, always tell patients to do that. And then um, I will have them come back. The reason why we're concerned about the contact lens associated is sometimes that can be a secondary super bacteria. And here, that's with the staining using a woods lamp. That's a rather large abrasion, plus that covers what I call the visual axis, which is the pupil. Um, so you worry more about um, uh, scars. Hythema is when you have blood in the anterior chamber. Remember that anterior chamber is from the iris on forward. Um, yeah, what you need to do is, particularly with people in dark eyes, is really look for this. The reason why it's serious is because the risk for re-bleeding is very high, usually in two or three days. Um, you treat with um, strict bed rest, um, topical steroids. Um, you're going to have something that will help dilate the eye, and uh, this does require um, uh, ophthalmologist uh, contact lens over where, again, they come in, they'll tell you that they've got their contacts in, they fell asleep with their contacts, they get a dry eye, they get inflammation of the cornea, and it hurts. Um, they may or may not have a hazy cornea, um, and um, you may get some punctate, which is basically um, if someone took a sand and threw it in jello, that would be a punctate lesions. The treatment is to get rid of the contacts. Um, uh, again, for someone, these are usually pretty painful. If they can afford it, I'll give them NSAIDs. Um, again, topical antibiotics. And um, it's not okay to sleep in contact lenses. Uh, foreign body, that's metallic foreign body. Again, I would describe that as being at the 11 o'clock position, um, just um, on the upper aspect of the visual axis. Um, you're going to, need to put some numbing drops. Uh, you're going to examine this patient hopefully with a slit lens so that you have a microscope. Um, and um, the removal, depending on how comfortable you are, I do re remove these with a curved 18 gauge needle um, to scoop it out and then uh, it leaves a rust ring and so I then have to use a little drill to take the rust ring out. Um, generally you have them follow up with ophthalmology, um, particularly if you cannot get the um, uh, rust ring out. Chemical injuries, the first thing I do is pH. The normal pH is supposed to be uh, 7 to 7.2. It's basically um, uh, very close to the body. Um, and the number one thing with chemical injuries is to irrigate. Uh, usually put Morgan lenses in, uh, irrigate the heck out of them. Um, and the, again, this is 5 to 10 liters of irrigation. Uh, they're going to get um, erythromycin. You have to get on the poison decks and see what it is because um, 
uh, alkaline will continue to cause burns even when the substance is removed and they can actually cause co uh, cornea punctures. Again, there's an example of testing the pH. Morgan lens, irrigation, gets water everywhere. Ulcers are kind of important too. These are more serious than abrasions. Um, usually it's going to be secondary to trauma, contact lens. Um, it's a severe pain, sometimes with decreased vision, photophobia. Um, the important thing is before you touch their eye, you need to look at the eye and do a thorough exam. Ulcer will be an opaque uh, looking um, lesion and that helps differentia differentiate it from like a corneal abrasion which you will not see. Um, you will have um, some con uh, conjunctival uh, uh, injection um, and again this is uh, something even in the emergency room we do refer these the reason being is that the uh, ulceration can cause scarring, can cause glycoma, um, and it's, it's, it's a pretty serious thing. And there, that's a really over-the-top corneal uh, ulcer. Uh, again, another one that's over-the-top. Um, herpes simplex, um, this is very important. Why? Because it can cause um, a scarring. Um, and uh, usually um, it will present just like a, a uh, corneal abrasion, which is why it's really important in my mind to always stain people that c come in with a conjunctitis. Um, the big thing is that you're going to be putting stains in their eyes um, and um, right there. See, it's a dendritic pattern, um, and this is an immediate referral, again, because of the complications. Again, it's a good reason this person will look on the outside to be a conjunctivitis. Um, this is, uh, again, a simplex uh, keratitis. This is a more generalized um, um, uh, inflammation of the conjunctiva. Um, shingles, again, with shingles, you need to look for that, those dendritic bodies, um, and you're going to get similar symptom symptomatology. Anyone who comes in with a lesion on their nose above their eye gets their eye stained. Um, again, um, you'll start them on antivirals, but you'll get them to the ophthalmologist as soon as possible. Never, ever, ever start steroid drops on your own. All right, and there's an example. All right, and that is the end for this edition.